Hello everyone, welcome back to Zombie Zoology. I'm Zombie Zebra and this is the next video in my series of The Rambling Zebra uh, where I just share thoughts with you, maybe advice, my thoughts on the world, the way I see things, and hopefully it helps you in some way, whether it's helping you express yourself or helps you understand someone you love or just understand me. Anyways, my subject for today is the idea of rest days versus bad days. This is something I originally saw in a headline of a Mighty article. I will link that below. I actually haven't read the Mighty article because as soon as I read the headline, it gave me, me the idea for this video and I wanted to make this video. And I don't want to be influenced by the writer in that article. So I am going to link that article down below. I just thought the two terms were really well used and I wanted to utilize them. So I don't know about you, but I used to have this kind of I'll sleep when I'm dead attitude. And especially when I was working on my theater major, I would work insane hours to do rehearsal and school. And I would basically just push myself until I had a really bad flare up and I would have two or three bad days in a row where I would just miss everything. And then I'd get back up and at it. Eventually my bad days started out numbering my good days and that's when I knew it was time to change things. But uh, for a while, that was kind of my attitude. I would have good days, and even when they weren't so good days, I made them good days. Until eventually there were some unavoidable bad days. And this seemed like a good system, but I didn't realize I was giving myself more bad days by not just taking rest days. I have learned how to manage a really high impact job that really someone like me probably shouldn't be doing. I just happen to really love it, which is why I do it. But uh, the reason I'm able to do that is I work, you know, two, maybe three days a week and then rest the rest of the time. Now, that is not a sustainable thing. I, I can't actually support myself on what I'm making. I am lucky enough to be supported by my parents at the moment, and I am very stressed about how I'm going to change that, believe me. But uh, the key to maintaining health is really to take rest days before you get bad days. The, 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 the key is to minimize the number of bad days. I used to think of the two as one of the same. Like the only reason to have a whole, the only reason to spend a lot of time in bed is if you're having a bad day. But I've since changed my attitude on that because I've learned that if I stay in bed and say work, on, like do work on my computer, like do some writing, filming, like this is pretty easy, sitting in a chair, anything like that. I am resting while still being productive. So it wasn't a bad day and I still got things done. I didn't feel awful the whole time, but I also let my body rest quite a bit. That way I was able to then minimize the number of bad days I have. They're unavoidable because there are lots of outside factors that do play into it. But if you take rest days before you get your bad days, you will minimize the number of bad days. and Overall, you will have a more productive life. It feels more productive just to push through no matter what, but actually in the long run, you're gonna be much less productive if you're jeopardizing your body's health. Now, if you are in a more severe situation, you may need more rest days than somebody else. I would just encourage you to kind of get real with yourself and we, we have a lot as a society against taking a break. In a capitalist society, we value people based on their output, so taking a break does not seem to bump up your output. So just at a very base level, it seems like a bad idea, but even in that most capitalist view, it is better to get a little bit accomplished on one day to be able to get a lot accomplished the next day and to be able to get a lot accomplished one day and then nothing for days. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it's a lot easier to build up to activity and then rest after activity. It will then be a lot easier to do that activity again if you do the resting. Hi, this is my dog. Hi. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I love you too. She's so pretty. All right, well, I think my dog is telling me to end this video because I really am just rambling now. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, hoard those spoons, puppy. Hoard those spoons. Thanks. <laughs>